In this video, we'll talk about some important information you'll need to know about taking an assessment, such as a test or quiz, in Sakai. To take a test, visit your course site. The Tests and Quizzes button may appear in the main menu. Here, you'll find links to assessments that are currently available for you to take. In some courses, you may not find a Test and Quizzes button on the menu. If so, your instructor has put a link to the test somewhere else in the course. If you cannot find the test link, ask your instructor for assistance. When you're ready to begin, click the test link. Some basic information about the test is shown. In this example, the instructor is sharing some important information that students need to know before taking the test. For example, here's the due date, and here it says that there's a 15-minute time limit on this test. Be aware that when a test has a time limit, the test will submit automatically when the time limit runs out. When you're ready to begin, click Begin Assessment. The timer is now started. Do you see it here at the top? At this point, if I leave Sakai or if I log out of Sakai, the timer will continue to count down, and the test will submit when the time runs out. In this test, each question is on its own page. I'll click to select my answer, and then click Next to move on to the next question. Each time I click Next, Sakai saves my answer. This means you do not need to click the Save button here. Just select your answer, click Next, and it's saved. On this test, the instructor has enabled a feature called Mark for Review. This is helpful when I'm not sure about a question and want to come back to it later. I'll check Mark for Review for this question. The instructor has also allowed something called Random Access, which means I can move backwards if I need to by clicking the Previous button. I can check on which questions I've answered here in the Question Progress tab slider. A dark circle indicates I answered that question. For example, questions 1, 2, and 4 have been answered. A question mark indicates I marked a question for review and intend to revisit it, for example, number 3. When an instructor allows random access, the Question Progress tab slider allows me to click a question number to jump to it. I'll jump to number 3 and then click here to close the tab slider. Alternatively, there's a Table of Contents link at the top that allows you to see a list of all questions on the test. Just like the Question Progress tab slider, a dark circle indicates a question has been answered and a question mark means a question has been marked for review. Both the Question Progress tab slider and the Table of Contents can be handy for checking to make sure you didn't skip a question or leave one blank by accident. To go to a particular question from the Table of Contents, just click on it and you'll return to normal test mode. Here's an important tip. Never, ever click your browser's back button when taking a test in Sakai. Instead, Use the navigation buttons within Sakai, such as Next, Previous, Question Progress, and Table of Contents to move around. When you get to the last question, a Submit for Grading button appears. The test has not yet been submitted, so you have the chance here to click Previous to go back and continue working on the test if you'd like. When you've checked your answers and are ready to submit the test, click the Submit for Grading button. Sakai asks if you're ready to submit, and if you are, click Submit for Grading one more time. A receipt appears confirming that the test was submitted. We recommend you print this receipt and save it. When I click Continue, I'm back on the assessment screen where I started. The test I just took is now listed under Submitted Assessments at the bottom. For each test or quiz, instructors can opt to let students see feedback, such as which questions they got right or wrong. Some instructors may choose to delay when feedback is available, and some may choose not to make it available at all. Keep in mind that different tests done by different instructors may look and work differently. That's because on each test, the instructor can choose settings that affect how that test displays and how it works. For example, here's another test. On this one, the questions are all on one long page. It's very important on tests like this for you to scroll down to the bottom periodically and click Save to save your work. Because there are no next buttons after each question, my answers are not being saved as I go, so I have to scroll down periodically and save it myself. Here's one more example. On this test, the questions are one per page. I do see a Next button, which is good. It means my answers are being saved, but I do not see a Previous button. On this test, the instructor is not allowing me to move backwards. I can only go forwards, and there's no Table of Contents button at the top, so I can't jump around. This test also has a few short answer questions. As I respond to them, I'll want to make sure I click Save.
When viewing your course grade, keep in mind that if your test does have short answer or essay questions, those must be manually graded by your instructor. Until your instructor has graded these, your overall test score may seem lower than what you expected. Once your instructor has graded these questions and awards points for them, your adjusted test score will be displayed. We hope these tips help you with your next test in Sakai, and we wish you the best.